What is up, YouTube? Happy New Year. My name is Clickwid, and I'm back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And guys, as you can see on the screen, it's probably been a couple of days since I have been logged on to Madden 15. I've just been spending a lot of time doing other stuff. I've been super busy with work. Um, it's been the holiday season, of course, and, and I have a brand new baby, so we've been trying to bring her around to meet all the family and that kind of thing. So I've been kind of neglecting the YouTube channel, and I really apologize for that, guys, but I do promise that with the new year here in the next day or two, uh, we will be putting out plenty of videos. We'll be doing a new budget series episode. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do uh, Probably like outside linebackers and, I, and I'm thinking I might separate them into 43 and 34 outside linebackers just because there's such a difference between the two so I want to hear what your guys opinion is on that do you think that I should separate them should I do them as one long video I don't know I haven't really decided yet but as you can see on the screen right now we are getting a night train lane cornerback item that we get to use for it's usually like a couple of days or a week or something like that 90 overall though this thing looks pretty beastly at first glance uh, I haven't had much of a chance to look through this thing but 92 speed you know it's got the hit power as well 87 catching that is nice because as you know my cornerbacks drop a ton of picks all the time got he has good uh ball with uh with hand with uh the ball in it moves i guess i should say 90 man coverage 92 zone excellent stamina and injury everything like that hit power 92 85 press so not too bad this thing's pretty beastly we'll have it for a couple of days of course before we uh before we end up having to get rid of it or before it becomes like what 70 overall or something like that but i'm gonna go ahead here into today's pack opening video uh i am gonna open up a couple of the all madden packs for you guys so that you can see what's in them they are 35,000 coins each so i'm thinking i'll probably open up three of them with coins and then one of them with points since i've got enough points to open them up i'm not gonna do well crap let's see here oh man i don't know should i should i do the bundle you get, uh, you get a bundle topper featuring seven badges. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do another video where I actually open up the All Madden Pack bundle. Because maybe I'll do that if you guys think that it's worthwhile for me to do. Otherwise, based off of, we'll see, based off of what I get in the regular pack opening here. Like I said, I'm going to do three with coins and then one with the points. And uh, if things go well, maybe I'll do another one in another video tomorrow or something like that for you guys. Since we've still got two hours, or two days, 15 hours, 48 minutes at the time of this recording. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna open up a couple of those, and then I'm also gonna take a look here quickly at my items here in my binder, and uh, we'll see if we've got anything decent here. I, I have, uh, I, like I said, I haven't been on in a couple of days, unfortunately, because I've been so busy, but we'll see what I got in my presents. Looks like I got a couple of 10 badge packs, that's not too bad, maybe we'll get an elite. And then we got a 15K quick uh, sell, so we will do that, 15,000 coins, that's not too bad. I will definitely take that. And then uh, looks like we've got the George Blanda collectible here. So we will add that to the George Blanda set. Get ourselves a nice little kicker here. And uh, yeah, there we go. Um, let's see here. What else we got? Yeah, I think that's it as far as the ones that I haven't opened yet. So we'll go ahead and uh, do the badge pack opening at the end of this video. But for right now, let's hop in here and look at the all Madden packs and see what we can get with them. Uh, very first one we're going to purchase with the points so that I don't forget about it because I've got a terrible memory, guys. All right, Le'Veon Bell is our first item. Come on, Brandon Meebane. All right, Brandon Lloyd, Roddy White. So we didn't really get much out of this pack. 35,000 coins, guys. These things are expensive, and when you don't pull anything decent out of them, it's really pretty brutal. So hopefully we're able to get ourselves an elite or something like that here in the next couple of packs. Let's hop into them and see what we can get as far as points go. 35,000 coins for these things. So, uh, all right, let's see here. Let's go. All right, Ruben. How do you pronounce his name? Atbia Ruben. Come on. Okay, so Lamar Miller Team of the Week. There we go. That's a pretty decent item. I know he's got some speed to him. 93 speed, 96 acceleration, so he's pretty quick. Uh, probably not the best item that we'll see here uh, as far as the Team of the Weeks go, but, um, you know, something decent here. At least we open up something that's going to be worth a couple of coins. And then we get Craig Dahl as a Team of the Week. So we got two Team of the Weeks here back-to-back. -back. Not too bad. And then a Henry Melton. 
So, okay, so we at least came probably closer with this pack to making our money back. So, not the worst pack ever. Still not very excellent items, of course. Let's see what this one's got for speed. 85 speed at safety. That's pretty brutal. So, my guess is that this thing's not going for very much because it's not a, really a usable card at this point. Just based off the fact, speed alone in this game, man, you need to have speed. 85 speed is not enough. So... Let's take a look here and see what we get in our third All Madden pack. We've got one more after this one as well. 35,000 coins. What are you guys getting in your All Madden packs? Are you guys getting anything decent or are you guys just getting completely crapped on like I always do? Let me know. All right, Vince Wilfork. Yes, Football Outsiders, Vince Wilfork. That is an excellent pull, baby. This thing is beastly. I have seen the attributes on this thing. 99 strength. Uh, he's got amazing power move as well, if I remember correctly. 93 tackling. Oh, man, this is awesome. 98 power moves. That is crazy with 97 block shedding. Guys, this is an epic defensive tackle. I'm going to have a tough time not keeping this thing. Truly, truly. I'm going to have a very tough time not uh, not keeping this thing because it is, like, attributes-wise, I always tell you guys when, when I did my budget series and everything, strength, block shedding, and then either power move or finesse move. How do you get much better than this? I mean, unless you've got one of the items where it's going to give you over 100 for some reason, or you've got a boost or something like that on the card, eventually when the golden tickets and that kind of stuff come out, I don't see how this card can be beat. I really don't. As far as the defensive tackle, this thing is nasty. Real, real nasty. The only thing that sucks in speed, obviously, acceleration, that kind of stuff, you don't expect that out of a Vince Wilfork, but this thing is a beast, an absolute tank against the run. So very, very happy to pull that one, guys. Very, very happy about that. So we've got three Team of the Week items now. That's pretty good. Not too bad. Sharice Wright and our final item, Cordero Patterson out of these, this pack. So we've got one more pack to go, guys. And then at the very end here, like I said, I'm going to hop through and quickly rip through those badge packs, I think, just because I don't want to have them just sitting there. I, I don't really feel like doing them in their own video. So uh, you guys get a little bonus here in today's video. All right, Pernell McPhee, Bartibius Mingo, Marcus Cannon, Ruben Randall. Ruben Randall probably should have gotten a team of the week if he didn't. I, I didn't pay close attention to whether he did or not. So basically, Fred Davis being on this back. Oh, man. These, this is a pretty brutal back opening, guys. Marcus Cannon. Yeah, just nothing of any value here. Unless I miss something in Purnell McPhee or Bartivius Mingo or something like that are going for a lot. I don't think they are. But we did get that Vince, Vince Wilfork, which is a pretty good item. That should pay for a pack or two at least. So uh, very, very happy to pull that. And now we'll hop in here with these badge packs and see if if we can get anything decent out of them. I do have to hop back in here, I think, and add them to the set. Sorry about that, guys. But again, I wanna let I wanna hear what you guys are getting out of these packs. Are you guys getting anything decent out of the all Madden packs, or are you guys just getting completely crapped on? I, I've seen a lot of people opening that Vince Wilfrick, so it kind of makes me think that one is not quite as rare as some of the other ones are. But I don't know. We'll see. All right, bronze, 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 bronze. Oh, wait, that's silver. Silver, gold, bronze, bronze. Nope, silver <laughs> and bronze. All right, so we did get one gold, a silver, or two silvers, and what is that? Seven bronzes. So not all that surprising that we don't get a whole lot other than the bronze badges. But, you know, this is kind of just an extra thing on top, so I'm not, I'm not too frustrated with that. It's pretty decent. Decent enough anyway. We should be able to sell those bronzes for, you know, a couple hundred coins each. And then uh, the silvers and the gold obviously go for a decent chunk. So we should at least be able to get some free packs out of that eventually. All right. Last one. Here we go. Badge pack. All right. Here we go. And also, guys, I want to know, what do you guys think about them doing so many gifts with, like, badges and contracts and stuff like that? Do you think that that's BS or are you happy when you get the badge packs? I don't know. I don't know where I stand on it because I don't really see many people pulling elites out of it. I, I certainly haven't pulled one, so uh, let me know, and right as I say that, we get the Elite, let's go baby, right as I say that, man, I need to do that more often, like, it seems like I talk about like, oh, I never get anything good, never get anything good, and then boom, boom, we get that Vince Wolfer, boom, we get the Elite badge, awesome, very, very happy about that, so let's see here, we got the Elite couple of silvers here three silvers not bad very very nice that is an excellent pack a uh, badge pack opening i'm very very happy about that guys so again let me know in the comment section below what did you guys get out of these all madden packs are you getting anything good out of your badge packs are you guys happy when you get the badge packs i know nobody's happy when they get the contracts but like do you think that they should have just done away with the contracts and maybe had fewer gifts because obviously they couldn't give us you know a, an epic item in every single one of the presents because that's just not how it works 
But, I mean, do you think that they should have just done away with the contract presence? Or should they have, you know, maybe boosted up what you get in addition to the contracts? Maybe like a, you know, a 2500 quick sell or something like that in addition to the contracts and the ultimate freeze? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below, guys. I know I've asked you to do that a few times here. But if you enjoyed this video, please also be sure to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to press that subscribe button so that you know when I put out a new video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And again, if you did, be sure to hit that like button. Thank you guys again. Happy New Year. Enjoy tonight. Be safe. Everything like that, of course. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.